I watched this Tom Scott video about a grocery store that made me start thinking about human immortality. You see, this grocery store is actually like a hive mind robot grocery store that packages things to send them out on delivery trucks for people so they don't have to do it themselves. And it's, well, he poses this question where he's like, is this one big robot because a massive AI is controlling everything or is it a bunch of little robots? And he equates it to how our brains and bodies work because our brain, which is what I would say I live in, is actually being influenced by my gut bacteria because it interacts with the neurotransmitters that are floating around in my body. And so depending on what my gut bacteria is feeling and doing, it will influence my personality in my brain. So if I was to upload my whole brain to the internet or you know some robot, well then that wouldn't actually be me because it's missing the gut bacteria that influences my thoughts. So if I actually wanted to upload myself for immortality, I'd have to upload a simulation of every single piece of me to get the actual bit of me. This reminds me of how in Destiny 2, there are these exo robots and they have human personalities in them. And this was one of the problems that they discovered with these robots is that for them to exist in this lore, they had to be able to replicate human needs. They had to need to sleep and they needed to eat. They needed to drink, they needed to breathe. Even though they were all robots, they found that the personality wouldn't work inside the robot unless it had these other needs. So that's kind of fun. Also, here's a counter argument to the idea of uploading my whole body to the internet or into a robot, which is that if I was to like take antidepressants, that wouldn't change who I am entirely, right? It does change my brain chemistry, but it doesn't exactly change who I am. In the same way that if I was to have a bad night's sleep, that would also change my brain chemistry, but wouldn't necessarily change who I am as a person. Or would it? Am I a completely different person if I get good sleep over the course of a year versus if I get bad sleep over the course of the year? I don't know. What do you think? Not about the sleep thing, but you know about the, the robots and immortality. It's fun. Think about that.